Okay, so I actually came over here just to uh, make some glass, but I was close to a level, so I thought I'd smash it out real quick. 69, Runecraft. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go make some glass with the sand that I've collected. First prayer level that I have got in a while. I'll be coming up to it soon once another couple trolls die. One more. There we go, 79, prayer. Feels good, man. As you can see, I just got a Black Demon's task. This is because I unblocked them recently. Uh, because I, while I'm doing the crafting grind, I kind of want to just get it out of the way and get myself the uh, torture as well. It's going to take a lot longer. But hey, once I've got them, I won't need to do crafting again until I go up to 99. So yeah, um, I'm going to go to Gorillas and see what I, I can get. Also, yes, I'm using a Fremnic Blade. It looks cool as fuck. Don't judge me. Hispori kill count number 17, and bottomless bucket, I think this is number 2 or 3, I can't actually remember to be honest. And KC18, we got a new personal best, 1 minute 2. I know that's not very quick, but hey, I'm, I'm getting better. And while having a bunch of contracts happen in my inventory at once, 90 farming. Uh, I can now grow redwood trees, nice. So hey, it's it's been a very long time since I've recorded a clip like this, and as you may have seen in the chat of the, the last clip, it's been 33 days since I played this account, and as you may know, it's because I've been doing exams and I've had my coursework deadlines in, so I've been prioritizing education for the first time in my life. But yeah, I've got my last exam coming up on in just over two weeks, I think. Yeah, two weeks and three days. Uh, so I'm starting to get back into the swing of this. I will, uh, like I was said in the previous video, I will be uh, trying to get back to my regular, up I say regular upload schedule. I'll try and get back to actually uploading videos. And I'm also going to try streaming when I can because uh, it's something I've done before and I have enjoyed. Yeah, I'm basically my goals are to get to base 80s and also try and get a achievement diary done i don't know which one um but yeah i i just want to get one done so i've saved so, so i can say i've got it done uh, i'm fairly sure the easiest inverted commas is lumbridge one but yeah that's that's basically the plan at the moment i'm going to be leaving fishing and woodcutting for when i'm having to afk things so that'll be the two afk ones so you'll occasionally just see Pardon me, uh, a level out of nowhere with fishing and woodcutting, but everything else I'll probably set my mind to one skill and just go for it. But I think at the moment, now that I'm back on this account with my actual with my mouse and not on mobile, I think the first thing I'm going to do is go to demonic gorillas because I have a task of them at the moment, and I want to get that last zenite so that I can never go back there. Alright, I should be one log. There we go, 75 woodcutting. I said I would stay here for a bit longer, and I thought, hey, sorry, let's get the level. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Magic tree is pretty, pretty funky. Uh, that's something I could AFK if I felt the need to, but I'll probably be AFKing here just so that I'm not spending like seven years doing this. Okay, so I think this should fully finish off all of my sand. There we go. Now I just need to pick up this stuff that's on the floor. Sorry about my chair. Um, but yeah, this is all of my sand uh, used. I think I got about 11k glass. How much? 11.5k, nice. Okay, so I just did another trip at uh, Demonic Gorillas. And Demonic Gorillas really are something I'm not the biggest fan of. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to get through them eventually. But what I decided I'm going to do is just a little quick side goal bit of fun i'm gonna try and collect the metal boots because it's a collection log thing and i i like collecting things uh so yeah i'm gonna try and get my hands on all of them i don't know how long it's gonna take i don't know what the drop rate is all i know is that i kill these to get the bronze ones and i'm gonna work uh, forward from there but yeah let's let's see how long this takes Oh, hey, there we go. Let me just uh, check how many kills that took. That was 35 kills. Not too bad. 
Hey, there we go. This one took a bit longer. How many kills did it take exactly? It took 198 kills, uh, which is quite a lot more than the 35 it took for the bronze boots. But yeah, pretty cool now that I've got them. Let's head over to the um, cockatrice area and tr try and get my hands on a uh, some iron boots. There we are, iron boots. This one was fairly quick as well. Uh, let's see how many it took. Uh, 73. Ah, joy, great. But yeah, that is Iron Boots. Pretty cool. Let's head back to a bank and go see where the next one is. Hang on, wait, is the next one black? I have black boots. So where's Mithril, I think? My voiceover for this was absolutely awful, so I'm going to try it again. As you can see, I have teal and red boots where Mithril and dragon boots would go. This is because I currently use Dragon Boots as part of my gear, so they're in my gear tab, and Mithril Boots are from Jellies. Now, instead of just going and camping Jellies now, I think what I'll do is, sometime in the future, I will go and camp Jellies, barraging them for hard clues. But I'm not going to do that at the moment, since I have a hard clue. So, when I go and feel like grinding a few hard clues, I'll collect the Mithril Boots. And once I get the... Uh, primordial crystal, I'll go and collect myself another pair of dragon boots to fill the collection. Oh heck, uh, just got some ballista limbs. I think this is my third pair of ballista limbs, uh, which means I don't need them, but hey, it's nice to see a drop at least. And even if I don't use them, it's 30k Alex, so it's not worthless, but yeah. Pretty, pretty cool ballista limbs. Let's get a uh, Zenite next, yeah? So I kind of missed it, and I'm going to try and not die while recording this clip. But yeah, I just hit 93 ranged. I, I noticed I was near the level about like an hour ago, and just kind of forgot. Okay, Konar, I think I love you. I'm fairly sure the Smoke Devil dungeon is where Thermi is, so I think this can be 140 Thermi kills. Um, I'm going to have to double check that, but hopefully it is because I'm down for some more Thermi. All right, I just got my 200th kill at uh, Smoke Devil. I've been trying out the Halberd, see how that is. It's, it seems like it's pretty good. But I don't know if I just prefer the DDS or not, but yeah. Um, been doing this, it's pretty, pretty fun. I do like this boss. Uh, I'm fairly sure that the Ancient Staff is somewhat rare, but I'm fairly sure I have. Oh shoot! Uh, I'm fairly sure I have one of these in the bank. So yeah, it's just gonna get alked. Yeah, it's like 60k alk. But I know I can't prove it, but that last kill, dude, I got a 42-46. I didn't even know I could hit that high with a freaking DDS, dude. That's crazy. This is gonna be kill number 350. Uh, no, sorry, hang on. Three, just just 300. Uh, which means I'm gonna be close to getting 350 this task, which is the drop rate for the Occult Necklace. And yeah, uh, let's, let's get this kill, see what we get for kill number 300. And here we are, what we gonna get? We get <laughs> Pulseye Lantern, of course. Great, thanks. Just realized Thermi is 301 combat level, so that means we're gonna get, we're gonna get the Occult on 301 KC. Let's see it. You know you want to. 300 errands, you know what? That's, that's, that's almost the same thing. Still magic related. Gonna use this kill as a backdrop just because it was a really quick kill and this is gonna be a quick description. But basically the way that I kill Thermi is I just teleport to my house, drink from my pool, use the fairy ring to go back to just beneath castle walls. I can't remember what the fairy ring code is. Use my 4 DDS specs on the boss and then just switch to a whip and kill it. It's pretty chill, pretty easy, especially if you get some nice specs in, and it's pretty fun just because you get to see big numbers, you know? It's fun to hit things. Alright, so unless my Bracelet of Slaughter saves it, this is going to be the last kill in the task, and yeah, we actually did better than I was expecting. Uh, we managed to get up to 353. Uh, obviously, oh no, we got another kill. Cool, let's, let's do that, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Last kill, yeah, okay. We didn't get a uh, rip. We didn't get the extension and we didn't get the occult. Yeah, the occult's one in 350, which means hopefully next task. Um, 
obviously there's no guarantee and that's not really how it works but yeah let's go quickly grab another task from Kona um, I can't remember what it is let's see here. okay okay so before I get my next task let's use these brimstone keys see what are we gonna get sharks pretty cool uh, coal it's okay I guess dragon arrow tips meh what was that that was more sharks and rubies nice rubies is what I was looking for all right let's see what the next task is gargoyles in the slayer tower okay sure I'm down I was AFKing too hard and missed the level but I just hit 93 attack feels pretty good man I'm over halfway now we're getting close six levels nice so I had every clue in my bank apart from an elite clue so I thought hey let's go to Barrows see if I can get myself one and uh, yeah there we go I got it this was only like a couple chests in this was I wasn't expecting it to get this quick but yeah let's go turn this into a master and give that a go okay I don't actually know how to do this can I just use the clues on him ah yeah there we go hand over all I hand over the clues to Watson yeah cool and a master clue scroll nice let's can I do the oh Phalo? Phalo's is usually easy. Please no Infernal Axe. Right, Phalo, bring it. What do you want? Strangely found the chest. Hey, that's Barrow's gloves. I have my Barrow's gloves on me because I haven't got out of my uh, Barrow's gear yet. So there you go. Cool. <laughs> that was the probably the easiest one I could have got. What's the next step? My ditch. Let's go. All right, let's put these together. What is the next step? Wildy, oh god, Chaos Temple? Is Hang on, is this the one that's in the Chaos Temple? Oh, great. So, yeah, let's go fight the ancient wizards inside of the Chaos Temple. Sounds like fun. So the wizards were pretty easy, and on this next three-step clue, I need to have my strength gear and my ranged gear. So I almost had to tribrid for the clue scroll, which would have been pretty funny. But yeah, hopefully I do get that tribrid clue at some point, because I feel like that would be kind of amusing. But yeah. I also, if any of you don't know this, for the strength bonus, just a Darox Axe will get you that. That's all you need. Uh, Alright, the final step in that was easy. So here is the casket. What are we... Oh, Mimic. Cool. Hang on. Wait. Oh, I need to go activate the Mimic. Okay, I guess I get, did that on my main. I haven't done that on this account yet. So let's go do that real quick. So yeah, I guess this is my first master since the Mimic update came out, which, you know, is uh, pretty interesting. But yeah, let's see how do i get it yes i would like to get mimic challenges the mimic is pleased me too mimic me too right let's see how are we going to get a mimic if i get a mimic that means i can get my music cape back hey we've got a mimic nice mimic on my first master, ca master casket it's pretty freaking cool right let's uh go figure out how i actually kill this thing and uh gear up i guess okay so according to the wiki i just go in here and i can range it primarily and run away from it i guess but yeah all right so during this fight i'm just going to fast forward it because you've probably all seen a mimic fight at this point but i hadn't done one before and yeah it was it was pretty interesting it was like those sweets they hurt you like that's crazy and but yeah it's it's not too difficult and here is the end of the fight i think you just get a mahogany plank but now let's go and open the casket. Okay, so let's open the Mimic. Uh, you know what? 25 extra Ranars from the Mimic. I'll take it. The mascot, Master's pretty, pretty bad though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But yeah, like I said, now that I have fought the Mimic, that is 600 out of 600 on my music tracks again, which means that I ha now have access to my music cape again, which is pretty, pretty cool. Also, 600 tracks total. Uh, as much as I like the music in this game, they're not allowed to add any more because now it will be an uneven number. 600 is a nice number, but yeah, my favorite cape is back. So after I got that elite, I went back to Barrows and uh, yeah, I got an Aram skirt. You can't see the price or anything in the chat because this was just after an update and Runelight was down. But yeah, that is my fourth Aram skirt, I would like to say. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's three or four. Uh, four or five, I mean. But yeah, it's just some extra money to add to the bank. Got five more brimstone keys. I think these were from the gargoyles. So yeah, let's see what we get. 
a lot a lot of Celestra seeds. Some Rune Essence, I'm not going to complain about that, and Runefall Helms. Pretty pretty cool. Like, 700k in Celestra seeds, though, so... Konar coming in clutch again, giving us another Smoke Devils task. So yeah, that's going to be some more Thermi to do, since there's only one area that Smoke Devils can be, so that has to be Thermi. But yeah, we also got three keys from that task. Let's see, more Celestra seeds? Okay. Runefall Helms, and... More Celestra seeds! Jeez! How many is that? That's, what, 13 now? Okay, so, yeah, I, since I got that next uh, smoke double task, I decided, you know what will make this easier? If I complete Lumbridge Elite Diaries, it'll mean I don't have to take the Draymond Staff, which is just going to make it all easier. But it means I'm going to have to grind out 71 room crafting. So, yeah, I'm going to gonna do that. I can't remember the last time I did Tears of Guthic, so rip rune crafting XP, but, yep, there is 70 rune crafting. Pretty cool. Only one more level to go, and then I can boost for the diary. Okay, so I got bored of ZMI, and so I decided to do some lavas. It's not lavas aren't something I enjoy per se, but it's more interesting than ZMI, so I don't mind doing it as much. And this should be seventy-one room crafting. I skipped the level because I didn't think I would get it in the first inventory, but yeah, now I just need to get myself a plus five boost, and I can make the uh, I can make the water runes for the Lumbridge diary. So yeah, this took me a lot of tries. I did actually get a plus five boost before, but I uh, I forgot that I needed to do a full inventory, so I never got it. But there we go. This is the second plus five boost that I have got. And once I do this, 140 water runes, that is the elite task done. Finally, <laughs> that took a long time. It was about an hour and a half of doing boosts. But yeah, let's go and complete this diary. Another one of the steps for the Lumbridge Diary is to collect some magic logs from these trees just here, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, yeah, there we go, nice. And then this was real easy. I forgot to record it the first time, so I did it again. But yeah, there we go. Pen of Lucian from uh, this dude in the dwarf area. So... It turns out I'm an idiot, and I didn't realize I needed another thieving level to be able to complete the diary. But yeah, about about a three quarters of an hour later of just spam clicking this dude, and as once he stops like hitting me, you know, come on, only like one more. There we go, seventy three thieving. Now I can plus five to get to seventy eight, so I can loot the uh, the the chests in Dorgish Khan. I think yeah. Yeah, rich chests. I got the boost. Now I just need to loot the chest. And there we go. Nice. Need to go talk to that guy in Lumbridge to get the ring. But that is the Lumbridge Elite Diaries completed. Feels good, man. Here we go. Completed all of the elite tasks in Lumbridge and Drainer. Cool. Yep, yeah, upgraded our Explorer's Ring. Cool. Uh, additional Slayer Master Block. And recharge my run energy and can cast high alchemy 30 times a day. Cool. Nice. And it doesn't say there, but it also means that we can not have to use Draymond staffs, which is going to be so nice. I'm going to collect myself a few rings and then head straight to the bank to drop them Draymond staffs. All right. Where are those Draymond staffs? There they are. Draw all of them. Hang on. I don't want it to mess up. Okay. You know what? Mr. Cabbage. There you go. That is. Wait. Wait. All right. Hang on. Try again. Mr. Cabbage, that is your new spot. And, yeah, let's get rid of these Draymond Staves. Let's not fuck up the clicks. Um, yeah, no, that didn't work out as planned. And this is going on runecrafting. I know I should put it on Herblore, but I prefer Herblore as a skill to runecrafting, so, yeah. Uh, what I'm doing that has nothing to do with this clip, but I just got 91 farming. This was actually during a farm run on my mobile, so I couldn't record it. But, yeah, 91 farming. And this will be kill number 400 at the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. So, uh, come on, hit please. There we go. What are we going to get? And uh, Rune Dagger. 4k, cool. It's 400k either. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this, this is a drop that I have always wanted. It is one of my favorite looking things in the game. And... I love it so much, and it's going to be so nice to fill out the collection, but it is not an occult. So, uh, I'm so happy, but I'm so sad. 
Uh, that could have been a knuckle, but uh, but I want this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm very excited to have it though. It's a very cool thing. But the issue is that now that I've got this, once I get the occult, I want to complete Thermy. I might try and stay for the pet because I do like this boss. And this should be the end of the video. But yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna fill in my bank with the smoke battle staff. All I'm missing now is the steam battle staff from Zami, but I don't know when I'm gonna get that. But yeah, like I said, end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one.